to those masters and friends. At the age of 45, when I look back, you know, when I look back, I felt that I was not equipped with life skill. I couldn't kick a football properly until today. The Malay will call me Kaki Bangku. I struggle to kick the ping pong ball within the length of the ping pong table. It always goes further behind and sideways. When I cycle, when the bicycle stops, my right foot goes down, not the left foot. And at the age of 55, I took up golf. I took up golf. Up to today, I'm still struggling. I'm an ish and ish golfer. <coughs> Hit and hope. <laughs> and then at the age of 40 plus, my elder daughter wanted to swim. Okay? As the good father, I had to be around the pool. Then I was thinking to myself, what good was I to be around the pool when I couldn't swim? So I decided to learn swimming. I decided to take up swimming lesson. And it was a life-changing experience for an aquaphobia. I have aquaphobia. I was scared of water. I was scared of drowning. In spite of the fact that my house in Pastipote, Kelantan is was flooded every year, at least up to here, almost every year. And in 1964, it was called Banjir Ay Red Water Flood, over the head. And we survived without knowing how to swim. <laughs> and my house was very near to the sea. It's called Pantai Daran Ru, Semarang, about 8 kilometers away. And my own house was about two, 1,000 meters away from the river. My father always said, don't go near to the water. Water is dangerous. The only water I need was in, in the bathroom. <laughs> and until before I learned how to swim, I dare not take shower with the shower head over my head. I don't like the water to cover my face and I felt suffocating. I felt drowning. That was my aquaphobia. And I remember my first trip to Pulau Langkawi some years back to attend a course. Now. The first thing I went into the ferry was I looked around for the life jacket. <laughs> I saw one at the corner.